Hello and welcome to Hardware Husky. Today we'll be looking at the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra gaming motherboard. I got this from Novatech and included a free Gigabyte 750 watt semi modular power supply. I don't know why I'd be using that, but I'll put it to one side for now. Okay, now let's look at the back of the box. The back. Okay, this motherboard has a 12 plus 2 phase VRM design. It has a direct touch heat pipe with thin array to call the VRM. It has three full PCIe 4.0 slots. It has an ALC 1220VB codec. It has Wi Fi 6, RGB Fusion 2.0, Smart Fan 5 and Fan Stop, Q Flash. It has three thermal guards for the NVMe drives. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so let's turn this bad boy over and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, first we have the motherboard. All wrapped up in this shiny anti static bag. Yeah, we'll come and look at that in a minute. Underneath we have some stickers, VIP card Aorus, mm, interesting, we have some sort of guide here, what language is that, something about configuring your BIOS, okay we have a quick installation guide, the user manual, oh installation CD, I'll try to take out the CD-ROM drive for that later. What have we got here? Okay, we have NVMe standoffs and screws. We have two Velcro straps, Aorus branded. We have a G connector for the front IO panel and the Wi Fi 6 antenna. Let's have a look what we got on the other side. Have here we have an RGB header extension cable, four SATA cables, and two thermistors. Okay, let's get this baby unwrapped and have a look inside. Let's peel the cellar tape off. Oh, there we go. Grab the motherboard. Make sure it's not caught on the inside and pull it out. There we go. Oh, she looks lovely. She's really heavy. Really nice. I like this board. There's a thin array for the VRM cooling. You can see, count all the chokes. There's definitely 14 chokes there. It's got the nice PCI NVMe guards. On the back is pretty plain, nothing much to see. Yeah, I like it. Oh look, you can see a little fan in behind the uh, chipset. Is there? Now, I definitely like the look of this board. Really nice quality. The cooling looks really good. The NVMe guards look high quality. Plenty of connections. Yeah, I think I made the right choice here. I'm picking this one. Okay, let's flip over and have a look at the back panel connectors and see what it has. Okay, it has two aero connectors, a HDMI port, one USB Type C 3.2 Gen 2 port, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports. 3 USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, 4 USB 2.0 ports, uh, 1 RJ45 Intel port network connector, 1 SPDIF TOSLINK connector, optical, and 5 audio jacks. So the back port has plenty of connectivity, the only thing I would say is missing is a BIOS reset button on the back, apart from that it's pretty extensive. I like the fact that it has an integrated I.O. shield as well. 
four internal I.O. connectors, we have one 24-pin ATX power connector, one 8-pin CPU power connector, one 4-pin CPU power connector, one CPU fan header, one CPU water cooling header, three system fan headers, two additional system fan slash water cooling pump headers, two addressable LED strip headers, two RGB LED strip headers, one CPU cooler LED strip header, three M.2 connectors. We also have six SATA 6G connectors, one front panel header connector, one front panel audio connector, one USB Type-C front panel connector, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 headers, two USB 2.0 headers, one TMP header, one clear MOS jumper, two temperature sensor headers, one Q flash plus button, and one Thunderbolt adding card connector. So why did I choose the X570 Ultra over the Pro or the Elite? Well for one, I prefer the look of the Ultra. The chipset fan cover is a lot nicer. It has a little plastic cover over the audio section of the motherboard. It comes with three NVMe heat sinks and slots. And it includes Wi-Fi. In the UK, we don't have the Pro Wi-Fi model. So the £30 difference between the two is a no-brainer really if you're using Wi-Fi. And that's it for my Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra unboxing. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. And I hope I'll see you again. Thank you very much.